Welcome to Gemstones Are Forever by ElegantArtifacts.com Touching amber is like touching time itself. In addition to being a beautiful gem, amber has become a scientific source material. Truly a golden window on the past giving us a glimpse into a world that is millions of years old. Amber is a fossilized resin exuded from the species of extinct pine trees. It is thanks to amber that traces of life that flourished in primeval forests have been preserved until today, and trapped in the resin may be found fragments of needles, leaves, and twigs, flowers, seeds, and pollen, as well as insects and rarely small animals. Recently, researchers working in Italy have found the oldest specimens of insects trapped in amber, a fly and two mites dating back to 230 million years ago, which puts them in the late Triassic period. These three specimens are 100 million years older than any other amber, entombed creatures found to date. The earliest amber objects fashioned by humans come from the 13th millennium BC, primitive portraits of beasts and wild horses found in, found in Meendorf and regarded as amulets used to endow the hunter with magical powers and perhaps to even attract game. Amber's original purpose to protect and decorate extent even into present times where amber is avidly collected not only for scientific interest but for its incredible beauty and diversity as a gem. Amber comes in a wide range of colors from the white amber, which ancient Romans once burned as incense, to such descriptive names as egg yolk amber, butterscotch amber, cherry amber, as well as the rare green and black ambers. Red fluorescent amber from the volcanic soil of Sicily, and even a blue amber from the Santo Domingo area, although this is a bluish blush that appears on the surface of the stone. Amber also comes in translucent and opaque varieties or a combination. Amber is found in many places around the world, but the most highly prized and perhaps the most coveted by connoisseurs is Baltic amber. To trace the history of ambers travels along the amber route to traverse the timeline of human history. Amber was used extensively by the Celts as well as by ancient Romans. Perhaps the most famous amber expedition was organized in the time of Nero, when so much amber was brought back from the Baltic coast, which black ground setting for gladiator fights was made ex exclusively from amber. Even the mesh used to restrain wild animals and converting the podium had a piece of amber tied into every knot. The Teutonic Knights of the 14th century maintained the princely privilege earlier reserved for rules that any and all amber recovered should belong to the ruling class, and that included the church for whom the amazing number of amber rosaries and religious artifacts were created. The fascinating history of amber could easily fill several volumes, but its presence as a very desirable gemstone cannot be ignored. From the earliest times, amber has been associated with magical powers, which later translates into health benefit claims. Copernicus used amber as one of the ingredients of the medicinal cordial. Amber was thought to cure diseases of the ear and throat, eyes disease, headaches, and infertility. When worn every day, amber was thought to protect the wearer for ill fortune and disease and to ensure success. For a short time after World War I, when the currency had devaluated, amber was traded for necessities and some areas. Today's amber connoisseurs seek out not only necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and brooches of amber, but antique artifacts such as boxes, sewing accessories, walking stick handles, pipe stems and cigar holders, toiletry cases, religious items, and small sculptures all made of amber. While amber has always been highly coveted, it has also undergone surges of extreme popularity and publication of the novel Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton during the 1990s and the subsequent film series when the State Amber Factory was founded in Konigsberg in 1926, later renamed Kaliningrad. Its output gave collectors a dazzling array of amber products from which to choose, and Konigsberg was undoubtedly the mecca of amber craft during the first five decades of the 20th century. After World War II, the amber industry changed considerably. The amber factory of Konigsberg became the property of the Soviet Union, but developments in the designs did not keep up with foreign demand, and sadly, the current Russian market has little regard for amber products, which perhaps accounts for the general decline in amber craftsmanship. To see the poorly made trinkets that compromise the supply of most contemporary amber jewelry is like a knife in the chest for anyone who truly loves amber and knows its potential for breathtaking beauty. This decline in craftsmanship has caused the price of antique amber jewelry and objects to rise in current prices reflect the desire of knowledgeable connoisseurs to seek out fine antique amber for their collections. Historical ambers, particularly those 
from before the 19th century are genuine rarities and, when available, bring astronomical prices. The buyer of amber should always be wary since fakes are rampant. From natural resins, which are not fossilized, to outstrip plastic fakes, much so-called cherry amber is actually bicolite or celluloid. But in recent years, this has become nearly as pricey as true, as true amber does to its age and popularity of these synthetic forms. It is essential to know that if not fossilized, it is not amber. That must be made clear. There are a number of tests that can be performed to determine if an article is true amber, including the saline float test, inserting a hot needle to the test of the scent of pine, and applying acetone to the amber. But if the test is not done properly, the outcome will be meaningless and you might ruin a beautiful amber in the process. Your best is to buy from a reputable dealer who guarantees the merchandise and offers a return policy. Among all the gemstones, amber is something very special. Some would say magical. It is warm to the touch. When rubbed, it creates a static electric charge. And perhaps it is the first time machine linking us directly to the flora and fauna of time when dinosaurs walked on the earth. Amber is like touching time itself. Thank you for listening to ElegantArtifacts.com. Copyright by Sherry Furman, 2020, all rights reserved.